Have you ever heard of geocaching? Nope. We hadn't, but nope. apparently it is the very latest way to hunt for treasure. Uh, it's so high-tech, you use coordinates to find hidden treasure Ooh. and indeed puzzles and <laughs> prizes. To explain more and tell us what's on in the East Midlands, here's Carly Pentelow in the Leicestershire field. And how far does your circuit? 110 metres. <laughs> look at that! Well, it's a, like a 21st century treasure hunt. You use a GPS device and you use that to home in on the, the caches that are hidden around the countryside. Oh, it's small. Yeah. I thought it would be bigger than that. Well, some boxes are bigger, some are smaller. There are what we call puzzle caches. Remember the number E equals eight. And sometimes that will involve work at home on the computer just to find out information and from that solve the puzzle. So while I go on the hunt, here are some other things you can get up to. The Lakeside Arts Centre in Nottingham celebrating Chinese New Year, ending with a fireworks display. And there's a treasure hunt at Peveril Castle in Derbyshire this half term. Search the ruins to find hidden letters. Oh. Into the next one, then. We're just over 75,000 active geocaches in the UK at the minute. And they're even in the Arctic Circle. And even one on an international space station. Don't think I'll be finding that one today. But if you like a spot of cosmic fun, why not take your loved one to the Space Centre in Leicester on Valentine's Day? And there are events for families too over half term. So then, Steve, you're a record-breaking geocacher. I have found a lot of caches. How many? Uh, 10,700 in total. Wow. What is it about that you like? I used to do a lot of walking anyway, and when I saw treasure hunting with a GPS unit, I thought, well, that sounds interesting. And people have placed caches in areas where there is a nice walk. Aha! Uh -huh. And it, it could be in a park or a, a woodland somewhere that I've never <laughs> been to before. Wow! <laughs> Look at that! There's all sorts in there. <laughs> and when you find a geocache, the etiquette is to pop something in for the next person to discover. Whoever mm -hmm. finds them next will yeah. get a couple they'll of BBC know, pens. They'll know you've been. Well, for us as a family, it's a great way of doing things together. Before caching, we wouldn't go on a five, six mile walk in weather like this. <laughs> Whereas nowadays, it's not a problem. We just get on and go for a nice walk together. Ferreting under bushes. What a great way to spend a weekend. Yes, we were, Sarah and I were hoping they might find chocolate. If it was chocolate, we thought <laughs> yes. it would be worth yeah, it. Yeah, we'd have a go. Strange, though, isn't yeah. it? They were thinking chocolate, I was thinking money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No change there, then. I wouldn't want to go out.